lives in a pineapple under the sea. Spongebob Squarepants! And in yellow and porous is he. Hey everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the Spongebob episode, The Way of the Sponge, requested by Charles Rosenbaum and Chris Rock 17. So this episode is about when Sandy is showing her karate skills to Fuzzy Acorns, the greatest karate master ever. SpongeBob wants to earn a black belt because the reason Sandy is showing her karate skills to Fuzzy Acorns is because she wants to earn a blacker belt. But SpongeBob just wants to get the black belt. Fuzzy trains SpongeBob in order to earn that. But Fuzzy gets fed up of training SpongeBob and he doesn't believe that Spongebob will ever get the black belt. Spongebob trains hard so he could finally get the black belt. The Way of the Sponge is one of the best karate episodes I've seen, period. This is a funny episode. It's highly entertaining. I thought it had a very good storyline. Rich Fulcher actually guest voices in this episode as Fuzzy Acorns, and I thought he did a really good job. He fit the character well. Fuzzy Acorns was pretty funny overall, especially what happens in the final few minutes of the episode. His voice just matched perfectly for the character like Fuzzy. It was funny when SpongeBob was showing his karate moves to Fuzzy. There was also this very cool training montage for SpongeBob to train for the big day. I just really loved that and it kind of gave me a little bit of that Rocky feel, which is a really good thing because I love the movie Rocky. And there is a lot of very humorous moments into this episode like from start to finish I was just really laughing very hard. I just really love the irony that was happening. The writers were top-notch with the humor. The storyline to me is very well written. I thought it was very clever actually. It has a funny ending. I really can't pick apart anything too big I have a flaw with. If I do have to say a nitpick, I do think Fuzzy Acorns was just a bit too harsh on Spongebob and it was mean for him to just hurt Spongebob's feelings like that, but that's really just a nitpick. I still really enjoyed the Fuzzy Acorns character overall and this episode as a whole was just awesome. Like really really great and fun to watch. It has very great pacing, it just gets to the point, it doesn't waste any time. Every single minute of this episode was very entertaining. I felt it was used to its full potential. The Way of the Sponge is fantastic and of course I'm going to give this episode a 10 out of 10. Now I am here to review the episode Bubble Troubles, requested by Furry Mess. So this episode is about when Spongebob and Patrick ruin Sandy's oxygen supply. So because of that, Sandy is losing oxygen and can't breathe. So Spongebob and Patrick have to find some oxygen for Sandy before she completely loses breath. This is a really entertaining episode. It's a little bit intense because of the whole Sandy not having enough oxygen. And it wouldn't have happened if Spongebob and Patrick weren't playing with their hot sauce bubbles. It was very well written. It was very intense. It had funny moments to go along with it. Also, Pearl is so likable in this episode. Pearl is likable. She didn't act like a bitch or anything like that. And it was nice of Pearl to help Sandy try to get some more oxygen. The Pearl I saw in this episode is the Pearl I want to see 
more often. And it was just great to see everyone basically try to help Sandy get some oxygen. Like I said, the episode does get quite intense because he's like suffocating more and it's pretty scary. This was an episode that really caught my attention and I really enjoyed how SpongeBob and Patrick saved Sandy and gave her more oxygen at the end of the episode. My biggest and only flaw with this episode is the first few minutes with Spongebob and Patrick playing with their hot sauce bubbles. It was very boring. It got the episode off to a rough start. And when the episode already starts out with complete boredom, you already know it's not doing a very good job. And I bet more stuff in this episode could have happened if that first few minutes wasn't so wasted. Like, what were the writers thinking with that first few minutes? Overall, I really enjoy Bubble Troubles. It's very enjoyable. I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10. It would have been higher if it weren't for the first few minutes. Other than that, though, it is a really good episode. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.